So this is going to be my first video with a microphone. And it's going to be a commentary on the fight I had with Mewtwo in the Finding Mewtwo in the Abandoned Mansion in Pokewilds episode. And, uh, yeah, I can definitely say this was not a bright move on my part, considering that it's a legendary and my strongest Pokemon at this point is a level 40 Ponyta. I mean, it's shiny, but shiny does not equal could defeat Mewtwo in a battle. So, yeah, went to challenge Mewtwo, and honestly, this fight still impresses me. Just kind of like the text beforehand, just kind of like the battle scene itself, like the levitating rocks that really show its psychic powers. What's also interesting is that he's also wearing armor, which we haven't seen since like back in the olden days, like the late 90s anime. Which, I feel like is a pretty cool detail that the uh, creators added. And like, the music here also, I really like. I really feel like, you know, it kind of really kind of conveys that. But it also gives me like that Team Rocket vibe. And considering Team Rocket is the sole reason why Mewtwo got created, and it was created, was for Team Rocket to use him. It just kind of matches so well. This I also found was really interesting, where it has like a wave psychic like, power on each. Which is kind of cool that the uh, creators added in, since I think it would really makes this boss battle more entertaining because now you're not only getting damaged by his attacks, but you're also getting damaged by him just simply releasing his power. Why I love this game is because he put in time for that. So, if you're interested in this game, you know, I definitely recommend go checking it out. I'll uh, leave a link for the uh, Discord in the description. And uh, yeah, basically at this point we're just down to Ponyta. <laughs> and I resorted to the last plan I could possibly think of. It's just to throw Ultra Balls and pray one of them catches him. It doesn't work. So, yeah, it was kind of more of a desperate, I guess, vain hope, kind of like a uh, cross my fingers, please let it work kind of moment. Especially as Ponyta was losing quite a bit of HP at this point. It's limited time, especially the fact that you kept going for, like, disable or recover, and not attacking us, you know, it's like, wait, we have more than one chance! Which, honestly, probably is just a waste of Ultra Balls, because we had 12 when we entered the fight. Now we're down to four by the time we lose the fight. And this is the only place I know where you can actually find Ultra Balls in the game. If we hadn't used any during the entire series, we would have had about 20-ish or so Ultra Balls at this point. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do more research into the game, or maybe we'll just explore it and you guys can all come along for the ride. Well, better luck next time.